Hi, my name is Mohsin Kamal and today I will go over IPsec over Fast Connect feature recently launched by OCI. So let's begin. As the name suggests, this option allows customers to configure IPsec tunnels over Fast Connect by using OCI VPN as a service offering. Before this feature, if customer wanted to have security on the Fast Connect, they had limited options. They can either enable MaxAC, which has its own limitation, or terminate an IPsec tunnels on third-party devices such as firewalls in the cloud. This feature eliminates the need of any extra device on the OCI. Multiple IPsec tunnels can run on a single Fast Connect virtual circuit supporting mixed encrypted and unencrypted traffic. You do have the option to enforce encrypted traffic only using transport mode option. Tunnel endpoints have either public or private IP addresses. One thing to note here is if you use public addresses on the IPsec tunnel endpoint, they won't be accessible over the internet as they will only be advertised over the fast connect. ECMP is also supported and allows aggregation of multiple tunnels between the endpoints. IPsec over Fast Connect also supports transport only mode where customers can enforce encryption on the Fast Connect, meaning only encrypted traffic will be allowed. To enable this option, multiple conditions needs to be met. First, make sure there are no static routes present on the route table assigned to the virtual circuit attachment. Second, make sure there is no match all statement for the route distribution associated with this route table. And we will go in more detail regarding these restrictions when I will explain the flow of traffic. When transport mode is activated, it introduces several constraints. The route table for the virtual circuit attachment is limited to a single route per associated loopback attachment with no additional routes allowed. Static routes, are prohibited in the virtual circuit attachments route table. The route table import route distribution linked to the virtual circuit attachment is restricted to importing routes solely from the loopback DRG attachment. We will go over a little bit in more details regarding what loopback attachment is. Only the loopback attachment is permitted to import routes from the virtual circuit attachment preventing the use of match all or match attachment type virtual circuit setting. Let's look at this new type of attachment called loopback attachment. When you enable IPsec over Fast Connect, DRG introduces a new type of attachment called loopback attachment. There are multiple benefits to this. First of all, DRG needs to redirect the encrypted traffic into a private IPsec tunnel within the DRG itself. Encrypted traffic destined for IPsec tunnel over the DRG must be classified in a distinct manner to support private IPsec tunnels effectively. Another benefit is preventing routing loops. Routes received from the customer over IPsec tunnel and the virtual circuit should not be exchanged between their respective route tables. The DRG should be capable of accommodating multiple tunnels with the same private Oracle head and IP. Let's take a look at our test topology. There is one VCN 10.10.0.0/16 that will connect to on-prem with an IP address of 10.11.0.0/16. The Oracle IPsec head and IP addresses are RFC 1918. In this particular case, we are using 192.168.88.1 and 99.1. Look at the fast connect route table. This is the route table that will advertise the OCI prefixes to on-prem. And if you look closely, you will see that this table has only IPsec tunnel prefixes. This is because I'm using transport mode only feature. And this is one of the limitation that OCI DRG imposes when you use transport only mode, that only IPsec head and IP addresses are allowed to be imported into this table. So as I was mentioning earlier, 
in a previous slide when we were discussing the limitations imposed by transport only mode this is one of the limitation that this particular route table that is attached to your fast connect can only import oracle hidden ip addresses which will then be advertised to on-prem another important route table to focus here is that loopback attachment route table as i mentioned earlier this route table will be used to loop the traffic from oci drg to vpn as a service and then back to the same drg over IPsec tunnel attachment. End-to-end -end flow of traffic will become clear in the next two slides. The IPsec tunnel establishment is straightforward. DRG will import the IPsec head-end IP addresses pointing to the loopback attachment and that traffic will get forwarded to IPsec tunnel endpoint and IPsec tunnel will get established. Let's take a look at the flow of traffic in this first example. We will look at the traffic flowing from VCN to on-prem. The first route lookup will happen at the DRG VCN attachment. Since the destination is on-prem, this will be reachable over the IPsec tunnel. So the traffic will get forwarded to Oracle VPN as a service over an IPsec tunnel attachment. From there, traffic will get encrypted and that will get forwarded to the loopback attachment route table. That route table will have a route pointing to your on-prem IPsec tunnel endpoint. In my case, that will be 1010.5.182/32. One thing to note here is traffic will be unencrypted from VCN all the way up to VPN as a service. And once the traffic comes back over the loopback attachment, it will be encrypted which is being highlighted here with color red. And you can see that only two route tables will be used when the traffic goes from VCN to on-prem. Moving on, now let's take a look at the return traffic that is from on-prem to VCN. From on-prem, encrypted traffic will come over Fast Connect destined to IPsec tunnel endpoints. The route table attached to the Fast Connect virtual circuit will be the first route table where the route lookup will happen. That route table will only have IPsec tunnel endpoint with the next hop pointing to the loopback attachment. Once the traffic reaches the VPN as a service, it will get decrypted and forwarded back to the DRG over the IPsec tunnel attachment. IPsec tunnel attachment will have another route table attached to it that will have the actual VC Insider or subnet route with the next hop to the actual VCN attachment. DRG will route the traffic directly to the VCN attachment using this route entry. I'm hoping you observe that in all scenarios, DRG does a single route lookup before forwarding the packet to the end destination. And similarly, in this particular case, you can see that only two route tables are used for the traffic to come from on-prem all the way to VCN. Okay, now the fun part. Let's take a look at some of the limitations for this particular feature. First of all, no IPv6 support. When it comes to ECMP, only eight tunnels are possible. Each private tunnel can be associated with a single virtual circuit. So it's imperative that customers with layer two providers Fast Connect Virtual Circuit associate their private tunnels to distinct virtual circuit to ensure redundancy. No updates to the associated virtual circuit on the Oracle head and IP. So once the Oracle head and IP has been decided, you cannot change it. Loopback attachment is read only. So there is no way you can actually put static routes in the loopback attachment or change the routing on the loopback attachment and maximum throughput you can get out of each tunnel is one gig. Let's take a look at what is needed for the configuration of this particular feature. So first of all, to get this configured on OCI console, you need three separate pieces of information before you even start configuring this particular feature. First of all, private IPsec tunnels, Oracle head and IP addresses. So this is the IP address that you will use to build the tunnels toward OCI. This can be any IP addresses. In my particular case, I was using RFC 1918 IP addresses. 
You can use any IP addresses as long as they are non-overlapping in your environment. You also need a virtual circuit that you will be using to connect to you on-prem and building the IPsec tunnel. And you will also need a route table for your IPsec tunnel attachment. This is the route table that your IPsec tunnel attachment will be attached to. And this particular route table is not automatically created. So you, as a part of configuration, you will actually set this route table during the configuration. So this has to be created on the DRG before you can start establishing your IPsec over Fast Connect. Okay, so the first step in creating IPsec over Fast Connect, you have to create a Fast Connect virtual circuit. And when you create that virtual circuit, you have to pick whether you want to use transport only mode or not. So in this particular example, I'm using transport only mode. Next step is to create the CPE. With this feature, you will see an extra option, allow IPsec over fast connect. You need to select this one for this feature to work. Once that step is completed, you can come to CPE information page and you can see here, IPsec over fast connect is enabled for this particular CPE. Next option would be to create your IPsec connection. And when you will create an IPsec connection, you will select the CPE on which you have enabled IPsec over Fast Connect. And this will also show as information on the CPE that you have created. So you would have to provide the IPsec tunnel endpoint on Oracle side. In this particular example, I'm just using 23, 23, 23. This can be anything. Uh, this is over a private channel. So this will only be advertised over Fast Connect towards your CPE to build the IPsec tunnel. And another piece to remember here is the route table for IPsec. Make sure that this particular route table is already created because this is where you will select that route table. Now, once this configuration is complete, you can see that the IPsec information is shown here with IPsec over Fast Connect being enabled. And if you will go back to your virtual circuit, you will also see that if you are using transport only mode, the traffic will be specifically classified as IPsec over Fast Connect traffic only. So that completes the demo today. Thank you very much.